Okay, this is all about how to fit the multi-fuel grate onto an aspect stove. And it starts with opening it. Okay, open up the door. And first job is pull out the old log retainer. Then you can fit it with the bricks in place. But given that this is such a big and powerful beastie, uh, you know, I'm doing this on the Aspect 14, uh, I would suggest removing the fire bricks because it will maximize space inside and make it more functional. But if it were to be fi being fitted on a, in a sort of freestanding situation or on the log store where you don't want heat going downwards, then um, leave the bricks in place. Next job is to take the side piece. You'll see this bit here and all this sort of clever bracketry that goes at the front. Like that. And this side exactly the same. All these little bits and cutouts, they all go to the front. And these rails go on the inside. Some of these are in one whole piece. This is the biggest one, so it's in two pieces. And uh, this bit goes towards the back. So make sure you get it locked down in. With this particular one where it's in two bits, you then add in the front piece. And you've got to sort of really push these side supports apart to get it all to line up correctly. Then got the log retainer and it goes in looking like that. So it's very similar to the original where it slopes out. And then the brass pans go in place. I was really pleasantly surprised with that design. It's actually really heavy, really tough. I like that it says aspect across it. Um, and uh, you know, it's not made for serious coal use, but if you wanna burn a bit of coal, this stove is primarily designed as a wood burner, but if you want that additional flexibility, I'm actually more happy with it than I was expecting. <laughs>